All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So at this point in time, we are less than a week away from the start of part two of the worldwide celebration. And if we base it off last year, then it should be dropping around the 12th or 13th of this month. But obviously I don't know for sure. So definitely keep that in mind. And as I'm sure you guys are aware, right? As I've expressed many times in the past in videos and streams, I was not a huge fan of part one of this campaign, okay? I just feel like it was a huge, huge missed opportunity. It was super dry, super boring. It was just not enough content, not enough stuff to do, given how long part one was. So uh, hopefully part two is much more exciting. Hopefully they give us a lot more events, a lot more content, and it's just overall better than part one was. And let me tell you, man, the bar is not very high right now it really isn't so anyways the purpose of today's video is for me to give you guys my personal predictions for what i think we can expect to see once part two officially begins all right and just to be clear nothing's official yet so everything that i say in this video is just a prediction i could be literally wrong about everything that i say here but you know that's kind of the fun of these videos right sometimes you're right about everything, sometimes you're right about some things, and sometimes you're off about every single thing. So we'll see what happens. If you guys are cool with that, then continue watching the video. And uh, let's pop over to last year's celebration, actually, the 300 million download celebration, which I didn't actually realize was also called Worldwide Celebration. It's interesting. So basically, this year they just took away the download part and only called it Worldwide Celebration. Okay, anyways. This was part two of last year's Worldwide Celebration. And the first thing that we got was a special movie for part two, which I'm sure will be a thing as well for this year. And we also got some special missions, which we'll also get, of course. Um, and a, you know, kind of like a community campaign where we work together to, you know, clear certain missions or meet certain milestones and get stones and training items and all that good stuff. And I'm sure we'll get the same thing this year, obviously under a different theme. Maybe this one's gonna be called Dancing with Elder Kai or Staring at Hourglasses with Boo. I don't really know. It could be called anything, but uh, I'm sure we'll get a similar campaign to this one. And uh, this was a little event that we had to clear to unlock the raid boss from last year, which, uh, as you guys might remember, was a uh, perfect sell. And this time around, I do think we're also gonna get this raid boss thing. And I'm gonna say it's gonna be a Buhan, maybe a Super Boo, probably Buhan though. So let's say it's a Boo, or, or maybe a Kid Boo. You know what? Forget it. It's gonna be a Kid Boo. So we're gonna get a Kid Boo Extreme Z Battle Raid Boss, and that uh, we have to work together to obviously kill him by removing all his HP. And uh, last year, if you remember, when you did the Extreme Z Battle, you also got the um, Extreme Z Awakening Medals for the STR Super Saiyan 2. Uh, Gohan this one right here. So this time around I'm gonna say that as we clear the event we'll be able to get the Extreme Z Awakening medals or Wait for it The base of Vegito's okay the tech base Vegito and the int base Vegito who have definitely needed Extreme Z Awakenings for quite some time now will finally get their EZAs through the Kid Buu raid boss event that is my prediction. I could be wrong once again, but it's just a gut feeling I got. I mean, if it's not through like a raid boss kind of thing, like in a new Extreme Z battle, then maybe just through, you know, a straight up Extreme Z battle with the Vegitos. You know, either way, I do think they're gonna get their easy A's. So that's gonna be something to look forward to for sure. And from there, we have an Extreme Z area. And this time around, I do think we're also gonna be getting an Extreme Z area for the two free-to-play units from the part one story event so uh, obviously i'm talking about this one right here uh let me find it real quick this one the ultimate showdown with the uh free-to-play goku and the free-to-play hercule of course both of them are getting token awakenings through new stages of the event but also once we get to extreme z or token awaken them we can also extreme z awaken them through an extreme z area event so that's gonna be pretty dope and uh, last year, Infinite Dragon Ball History was a brand new event, and we might get a new stage as well for part two. But I'm thinking that instead of 
you know, this as a new event on global at least, we should be getting Extreme Super Battle Road. Okay, so in place of Infinite Dragon Ball History as a new event, global for the first time, we'll get Extreme Super Battle Road, which I've been looking forward to for such a long time. I just, I need more of a challenge, you know, at this point, units are getting so broken, especially with the link level system that like we need harder events. Uh, obviously, this, this doesn't apply to newer players who haven't been playing for as long, who don't have as OP boxes. But for people like me, and I know you're out there, um, you know, Extreme Super Battle is going to be something that gives us just much more replayability in the game because it's going to be something that we're going to have to, you know, try multiple teams for and fail multiple times. And I love that, you know, like I don't want to just steamroll through everything first try. I want to actually fail. I want to die and uh, try again and try different combinations and all that stuff, right? So Extreme Super Battle Road or maybe just the new Super Battle Road stages. If it's not Extreme Super Battle Road, then hopefully you at least get the 10 new, you know, uh, category Super Battle Road stages from JP. Uh, okay, so from there we have a top legendary summon banner with, of course, a new legendary or LR unit. And last year it was the LR Androids this time around. I can't say for a fact, you know, what it's going to be because I don't know. Nobody knows at this point, but I've narrowed it down to three possibilities. Okay, number one, an LR Kid Buu. Obviously, we've been looking forward to one for a long time. Kid Buu was included on the legendary election thing uh, from a couple of years ago, and they have been, you know, making every single one of those units on that list in that voting, you know, pool into LRs. So Kid Buu is definitely in line for one. So I think it's going to be either a Kid Buu or possibly a new LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which obviously also makes sense. Or the idea that I think has really picked up steam recently because people like Truth and Goresh and Olar have been saying this is what they think it's going to be. Uh, a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks that exchanges into an Ultimate Gohan. So two characters in one with the exchange mechanic, which uh, also would make sense as well, of course. And I think a big reason why people are thinking these two characters are going to be part of a summonable unit is because of the fact that they're included in the title screen. In the past, Bandai has used the title screen to tease summonable units. I don't think it's like 100% of the time, but like, you know, with like the Jiren title screen, um, you know, for JP, uh, when we first saw that, we didn't know for a fact, like for 100%, you know, confirmation. And what is my English today? Uh, we didn't know with 100% certainty that an LR Jiren, Jiren, was, Jiren was coming, but they did tease it through the Jiren title screen. And then after, of course, for part two of that celebration, we got an LR Jiren. So that's why I feel like Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Ultimate Gohan as an exchange unit would also make a lot of sense. So it's between those three. All right, either Kid Buu, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, or... Go tanks exchanging into uh, Ultimate Gohan. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think it's going to be. What would you want it to be? And uh, we'll have to see once, of course, we get the official news from Banda themselves or a leak from Dokener or something like that. And uh, this was a top legendary summon banner, which means there were two featured LRs. The other LR uh, was the Int LR Gohan with a super attack revamp. And this time around, I think it's pretty likely that the other LR featured along with the Kid Buu or Super Saiyan 3 Goku or Gotenks and Gohan is going to be LR Majin Vegeta because he is the only Buu Saga themed non Dokkan Fest LR I believe unless I'm missing somebody else but as far as I can think of he's the only Buu Saga themed non Dokkan Fest LR and uh, he may also get a revamp for his super attacks because you know, Gohan got one last year, although I'm also thinking that they might not do it because Gohan Super Attack was just so awful. It was just so like, it was such a big joke in the community that like Bandai had to do something about it. Whereas for Majin Vegeta, even though his Super Attack animations aren't great, they're not nearly as bad as Gohan's was, right? So I think there's a chance they might just include Majin Vegeta, but not give him a revamp, but I hope that he does get a revamp, obviously. Okay, so that's what I think the LR banner is going to look like. Or at least, you know, a couple of options there. And uh, Elder Kai banner, of course. We'll get that, I'm sure. Some Dragonstone sales. 
Um, last year, let's see, we got a 6 stone pack for 50% off, 12 stone pack for 60% off, 3 times, 32 stone pack, 50% off, 3 times, and 91 stone pack, 20% off, 8 times. And then there was also a couple of 100 stone packs with purple dragon stones. Obviously in part 1 we already got purple dragon stones, so I'm, pro I'm probably... We're probably not gonna get that again, but I'm hoping we at least get those like 77 stone packs that are like really solid discounts or like 100 stone packs that are like extra discounted without purple stones, but we'll see once again. Okay, sell so bingo, another social media campaign. We've been getting a lot of those. So I'm sure we'll get another one and a new world tournament. Yes, I do think we're also gonna be getting a new world tournament uh, this time around. I don't remember what we're actually on. Let me check. Uh, I think it should be the 34th, 35th. Uh, yeah, it would be the 34th World Tournament for Global. So, uh, yeah, another thing to look forward to. A lot of stones, obviously, from this. And uh, also, just something to grind. I know World Tournament is not the most exciting event, but at this point, we'll take what we can get, right? Like, beggars can't be choosers. And uh, guaranteed as a SAR banner, World Tournament support pack and a couple of other events just available every single day. So yeah, that is pretty much it. And I think that's essentially what we're gonna be, what we can expect for part two, right? A new raid boss, probably Kid Buu or Buu Han or something like that, along with Extreme Z Awakening medals for the two base Vegitos, um, Extreme Super Battle Road, or at least the new Super Battle Road stages on uh, Global. And uh, also, you know what, Ashley? For Global and JP, I'm thinking they're going to give us another stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. And it's going to be, uh, you know, the end of the Buu Saga, right? So we can expect to see like Vegito and Buu Han, Kid Buu, and all those characters. Because, you know, the first stage we got in Part 1 was the beginning of the Buu Saga with, with Bobbity's army. So yeah, new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history is probably going to happen as well. And then Extreme Z area for the Goku and the Hercule. And uh, what else? Uh, Legendary Summon Banner, of course, with Kid Buu, or Super Saiyan 3 Goku, or Gotenks into Ultimate Gohan, plus Majin Vegeta, and uh, New World Tournament, couple of social media campaigns. And that's pretty much everything we can expect, unless they throw us a curveball and really surprise us with like something that nobody saw coming, like a brand new event. Um, I think that's going to be pretty much it, and if this is the case, it's at least going to be better than part 1 was, right? Because part 1 was just so, so freaking dry. And um, even though everything I listed here is still not a ton of stuff, it's much more stuff than part 1 provided. So, uh, at the very least, I think that would help salvage. salvage the celebration a little bit because they really really need it right now all right if part two ends up being as dry as part one was then i would have no issues with dubbing this celebration the worst major celebration i'm not talking about like a small filler celebration i'm talking about a major celebration that only happens once a year this would probably be you know the worst one we've had so far but we'll see you know like i said i have hope i have hope um i do think that it's gonna be better i do think that there's going to be more stuff to do, so uh, let's just keep our fingers cr fingers crossed, guys, and hope that Bandai will come through for us. Anyways, that is today's video. That is my part two prediction. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about that, if you agree with me or disagree with me. And if you disagree, feel free to let me know what you guys you know, disagree on, right? And I'm, I'm glad to have a little dialogue about that. But anyways, that is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always... If you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.